Welcome back guys. Now let's work on the Lesh Grab state. This state is inspired by the beautiful game Omo. So if you jump into a ledge, the character should grab it and then climb it. So let's create one for the raccoon. Create the state here on the raccoon. Let's place it below death. Let's fix the priorities and Let's create a substate machine. Now I'm going to rename it ledge grab. I'm going to create a transition and it should be state on and state equals to let's check the ID for ledge grab is eight and the tag is ledge grab. So eight here and the animation that we need to have is check on the animal raccoon animations is this one right here it should look something like this you'll see that the animation is moving in the y-axis so it's a root motion animation with a y-axis movement so let's use it let's tag it ledge grab and now to test this out we need to set the raccoon right about here and now on the ledge grab, you will see that we have a profile that we're going to use to activate that ledge grab animation. So first I'm going to set the height of the race for the ledge grab to a lower value. Now I'm going to test it. But the fall from edge is pushing the raccoon forward. So in the fall edge tag, I'm going to disable the root motion. And now if I test it again, you'll see that we can grab a ledge, but we still need to keep improving the values of the profile. So back on the ledge grab state, let's keep improving this. So let's change the wall distance to a lower value. Let's also change the forward multiplier of the race to a lower value too. And, and if I test again, I miss the ledge. So let me put the raccoon leader forward. Let's test again. We can grab it. Now let, let's on a better nope it should be 0 0.9 distance should be a 3 and that is so much better another thing is that we cannot exit the ledge state so here on the animation state create the allow exit behavior and we're going to exit to the locomotion when the animation is almost at the end. So if we play again and finish the ledge grab animation, now we are on the locomotion state. Perfect. Now, if I set the raccoon on the ground and jump, you'll see that we also can grab the ledge. Let me enable back on the fall state, the root motion on the fall edge. Test it again. And everything is working perfect. Now, as you notice, we can have multiple profiles for ledge grabbing because we can grab a ledge with different animations and different heights. Now with the raccoon, I do not have multiple animations, but if I go to the human demo scene here on demos, playground human, you'll see that Steve has two ledge grab, one for one meter and one for the default ledge grab. So on Steve, on the ledge grab, you will see I have two profiles. And this can be activated if the enter status value is one or zero, which is the default. And those enter status are used on the animations to play the profiles. Now, if I hit play and I go to here, you'll see that the one meter profile is played. And if I use it from here, the default ledge grab animation will be played. Now, if I try to climb this box, which is very high, you'll see that the ledge animation is also played. Perfect. I almost forgot to tell you. What happens if the animations are not room motion? Don't worry, I have a solution for that too. Let me disable the root motion. 
If the animations you have are not root motion, add an additive position. And let me try this to see what's happening. Well, it's kind of working. So let me tweak some of the values. Let me change the curves. So you need to keep tweaking the values for the additive positions to get a decent result. But this is looking pretty good. So I'll keep it. Let me try it again. Uh, yes, it looks decent. And that's how you can do the ledge grab without root motions animations.